Alrighty, you guys, so we just got back from all day shooting with Too Faced. Um, I'm just glad to be out and I'm just ready to fucking eat. So I'm heading to Whole Foods. This is gonna be my last meal before my surgery tomorrow. So I have the fast. Um, my surgery actually moved to 12.30. They initially had said 7.30. So let's see if I could fucking last. I'm gonna shove my face with as much food as I can eat. Just because, like I said, I'm not going to be able to eat. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow and can't wait. I will definitely be keeping everybody posted on what's going on. And yeah. So I just finished eating and I feel so much better. I'm heading to my house now and I'm pretty much just going to mentally prepare myself now because tomorrow is the big day and I am actually going to go meet with my mother. She is going to stay the night because she will be taking care of me because, you know, that's what a good mom does. Um, but anyways she is gonna be driving me back because I'm not gonna be able to be you know in my right mind to even drive myself after surgery um, I definitely need to go pick up my medication as well because I do have um, some Norcos awaiting me at the CVS pharmacy um, but yeah I'm like super excited um, I guess like I said I can't eat now till tomorrow at 12:30. Which is fine, because, you know, a bitch used to have an eating disorder, so n no biggie. And, um, anyways, I am not able to take a shower either, so I'm probably going... Or, not that I'm not able to take a shower, but I'm basically going to have to be super careful to not get the, um incision or the area wet or anything for a couple days um they suggest at least three days of trying to avoid any type of water moisture anything like that just so that i don't have any you know stitches popping open or anything like that we want to make sure that the butterfly um stitches stay on as long as possible because it's going to make the scar heal a lot nicer um they're also doing some internal stitches that are going to dissolve on their own and i was looking for this um now i get the fuck out of this parking structure but um yeah like i mean not much i can tell you um i think after posting about oh my god my fucking underwear just like hey um, but I was posting about, you know, um, how I was going to go into surgery and I really got a lot of good feedback, just kind of what people had experienced and it really comforted me and I really want to thank you guys all for messaging me. Yeah, just thank you so much. I, I definitely appreciate it. It really made me feel a lot better. Um, I know I'm a really strong person and I mean, I've gone this far and I really, I'm just so happy that I can finally you know, do something for me and I'm not regretful at all and I'm super excited like I said and I will definitely be keeping you guys posted. Um, I'm going to go meet with, up with my mom now and we're going to go spend some time together before the surgery. Um, I'll probably be really drowsy tomorrow. I will definitely, like I said, keep you guys posted. Thank you guys so much for being interested in what I do and who I am because seriously keeps me going. 
So I'm gonna start driving now because my mom's probably home already and uh, yeah, I got to go. I will definitely video more, especially with this shitty ass lighting, like what? Oh my God, I definitely need to do something about this. Um, but yeah, got to go. Look at my titties, they're growing. So we are pretty much to CVS and I'm about to pick up my medication. Let's see if they're fucking open because yesterday I came and this bitch was fucking closed. Yay! Okay, you guys, medicine. I want you guys to see. Oh my God, CVS. I'm great. How are you? Okay, thank you. I don't even know what these pills are. Is it for the... Oh, okay. Um, I have to... I probably have to pick up some Norcos because I have surgery tomorrow. Do you know where... Like, does, do I call the doctor to tell you guys, or what's the deal? Um, the doctor will give you another prescription, so the that one can't be called in. Okay. So you okay, so after I'm done with my surgery, come here right after? Most likely, or you can tell somebody bring it in for you. Can I go to any CVS? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. perfect. Just because I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel after the surgery, yeah. and um, I... I, I'm, I don't know, yeah, that, I'm just concerned. I thought, I totally thought that this was what it was for, but I mean, I definitely need this too anyways. <laughs> no. Yeah, thank you so much. Alrighty, cool, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, bye. Alrighty, you guys, so I just picked up my medication. I guess it wasn't the Norcos. Um, I'm probably just gonna pick those up after the surgery. I could get them any, at any CVS anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But um, yeah, I got my Spironolactone, which is my testosterone blockers, if y'all didn't know. But I needed those anyways, and I actually was gonna ask her about them because I thought they were the Norcos, and I was gonna be like, oh my God, what about my Spiro? And then, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get home, and I'm about to see my mama. See my mama, see my mama. Alright, bye bitches. So I just got home, and I'm here with my mother. So, mom, I want to hear what you think about me getting surgery. <laughs> what do you think? What? What do you think about well, me? Scared. What do you think of tomorrow? I'm scared for you, but I'm Why happy. You, but I'm uh, happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone, look how cute she is. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Doing face masks. Looking hella fierce. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. I am just waking up. I feel like I just had the best sleep of my life. Lately, i just been waking up so early and going to sleep so late, so I feel, like, rejuvenated. I did a mask last night, so explains why my skin is so glowy. Um, we're probably going to leave in a little bit. It's 8.30. My surgery's at 12.30. Um, but first, I have to brush my teeth, and... Yeah, I'll probably just eat a little bit of toothpaste so I get a little bit full because I can't eat, so. <sighs> I'm so thirsty and I'm so hungry, but I can't eat anything and it's really frustrating because I had a dry swallow a pill and I felt like I had something stuck in my throat, but it's not like I don't swallow anyway, so. <laughs> Are you ready, mother? Yes. Okay, perfect. So they called me in a little early and I have to go in at 11 now, so we are on our way and where the hell are my keys? Um, 
yeah, so I'll be filming once I get there. We're leaving to Sunset. Um, that's where the Kaiser is. It's off Sunset. And my mom is gonna try to make me jealous with a fucking fresh pressed juice right now. And there's this fucking place by my house. I'm sure you guys know who got Dunkin' Donuts is. But I am super surprised that they even fucking have something like this. But they do fresh squeezed juices. It's probably because we're in Norwalk and it's fucking Mexican as fuck, which is totally cool with me because they have mazapanes at every gas station and obviously they have fucking fresh pressed juices in the fucking donut place. So I want to eat and drink and be merry. Alrighty, you guys, here she comes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you got a sandwich too. Yeah. Can you show everybody how yummy this juice looks? Oh, show them, it. show them. Oh, so good. She's so healthy. Healthy girl. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, we have arrived. It is 11 o'clock and I'm about to get... Where do you get a parking ticket? Or just kidding. Right here. Hey guys, so I just arrived to Kaiser and I am ready for my surgery. Oh, sorry, I'm over here. Uh, so I have to check in on the first floor and uh, we'll see what they say. I'm probably going to just get admitted. I don't know, we'll see. But we're here and I'm ready and I'm excited and I'm hella cute. So we're about to check in and uh, we are probably going to, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to check in right now, and I'm feeling really excited, and I'm actually not as nervous as I thought, but I just am really eager to get this over with, and just be home and eating, and yeah. Can you see it really good? Mm -hmm. Gonna be gone. So they just checked me in. I'm about to go to the second floor so that we can meet up with the doctor, the anesthesiologist, and the nurses. Um, I got this really cute bracelet. Super expensive. It's from Gucci. Yeah, since yesterday, like eight, seven. Yeah, because I knew, I knew it. Yeah. So I had to start myself. <laughs> Yeah, I think I actually might be a little bit taller, but I'm not, yeah, I think I might be like 5'11". If you are not nauseous, yeah. you can crawl okay. okay. Yeah, but, but usually first day, we want to encourage you to eat not solid. Okay. Because, um, so I have to do a liquid, liquid diet right now. Not totally, depending yeah. how, how's yeah. your stomach doing. Well, hopefully I lose a couple pounds then. <laughs> they put these little stickers on because this is going to monitor my heart rate and they're going to keep this on so that when I'm under, they'll be able to really make sure that I'm a-okay. I look hella cute right now in this designer fucking gown. It's a green, the green shade is Now who wrote this right here? That's a uh, Leo. My mama. Nice print. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, can you take as much of it as possible? I, mean, I know what you're yeah. doing, and I can, yeah. I totally trust you, but I'm like, just get rid of as much as you can. Yeah, we will. We're kind of walking that fine line between we want to take enough to make it as un uh, obtrusive, or yeah, and but we have to be careful because we don't want to go into your airway or anything okay. like that. So, mm -hmm. and then, um one guy, I don't know if it was just an older video, but he did stitches on the inside and then he did stitches on top. You said they're all gonna be internal and then you're gonna do the butterfly, the butterfly stitches on, we on use, the outside? Yeah, we use uh, what are called Steri strips. Okay. So they're little paper tapes that go across the incision. Okay. All the sutures under the skin are absorbable or dissolvable okay. so mm -hmm. they don't have to come out. Okay. And those paper tapes, I want you to leave them on as long as you can because mm -hmm. they're keeping the skin together. Yeah. No tension. Mm -hmm. So today is Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. Starting on Sunday morning, you can take a shower and let water run over it. Okay. Just kind of pat it dry. Yeah. But keep it out of the water so don't go to, in like, a bath. Yeah, I don't or, do baths. So. Uh, but um, I'll probably just try to avoid. I'll just do body showers and like, yeah. just do this down and then I'll like take care of all this like outside like with my hair and everything and, like, you, and when you wash your hair 
don't do one of these like because it'll your, stretch it because it stretches it so it's better to move forward okay. and some people get creative and they put plastic on there okay. just to keep it dry for that first okay, three days cool. after three days if it gets a little wet not a problem just kind of pat it dry. okay i mean i'm gonna probably just like try to stay away from anything like i yeah. okay. i want it to heal like as nice as possible yeah. but i don't want to get a scar either yeah. i think it'll be pretty minimal and you don't have keloids anywhere in your body no. Do you know keloids? It's like a. We would know. Like something like y that. Yeah, you would have developed something like that. It's where the scar gets really big and thick. Yeah. And with that, uh, you would have had it. So you're not going to develop a keloid. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Do okay. you have any questions? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So, it's like, how long is it going to take the, for the. Maybe about an hour. An hour. Uh -huh. And you've done okay with the anesthesia? I've never been under, so I don't know how I'm going to react or anything. That's like the only thing that, out of this whole experience, that I'm kind of nervous about just because I've never been under, but I mean, I'm sure you know what you're doing, so, um, but yeah, I mean, I have a pretty high pain tolerance too, so I'm not like tripping about that. I just, I'm like, I just don't know what to expect with the anesthesia, so, I mean, do you, what, what types of things do you typically like encounter? Yeah. So, um, those oral meds. Oh, I thought they were chocolate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to eat something. The oral meds right now are going to start, um, Treating your pain even before it occurs, okay. so it gets on top of your pain. Oh, so you won't require well as much narcotics. Okay. Um, that's Tylenol and Gabapentin. Okay. And then the rest of the medications are IV. So we'll give you an IV medicine. It's like Valium. Okay. But it goes into IV. We'll give that to you here, so it makes it nice, calm, and relax. Uh, All right. And then in the operating room, we'll give you um, a little oxygen to breathe through a mask. Okay. And then um, we give you stronger medicines and fall asleep like, in 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Right. Once you're asleep, then we're going to place the breathing tube, um, which is standard for general anesthesia. All of them at the same time. No, you can do one at a time if you want. Okay. I'll just do it like a shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Put the breathing tube down in the windpipe, the trachea, okay. and that'll protect your lungs and that'll be a way to breathe for you. Okay. Um, that causes a little bit of a sore throat. Yeah, that's what I heard. People mostly say that it's just the soreness. <laughs> so that's a plus okay. the surgery too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then some people feel a little groggy after. Some people are like snappy awake right away. It yeah. just depends on the person. On the person, exactly. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, if you have yes. anxious. Okay. No, I'm not. I actually am really surprised that I'm not as like nervous as I thought I would be. Yeah. I like seriously, like, you know, when I was nervous, like three days ago when it hit me that I was like, oh fuck, I have surgery like in two days. So I just never had had anything done to myself. So this is like. The okay. first of a couple uh, surgeries, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah so. Say hello, this baby too. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. okay. They're not. How come they haven't come out? Because I don't have teeth underneath. Oh, mm. so those never, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And they're like, they're stuck in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll probably get them taken out before that. I'm like, yeah. I think they're starting to look too small compared to my other teeth. But I'm lucky I have like fuller lips, so you can't even tell. Mm -hmm. They look so gross though, because they're just so old and they're like probably like rotting under here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. That's just you know everybody has their own little thing, so I'll probably get them fixed just because. As much as you're talking, can't see them. Yeah. Cool. You're like, and you talk a lot. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Well, I'll, I'll try to prolong it. <laughs> I and mean, one day they're gonna, ha I'm sure one day they'll come out. You so. your underwear? Yeah, I have okay. everything off. Yeah, I'm okay. ready. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like a little, but it's not, it, yeah, it's, it's not, not anything. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah, it's it like what I feel like when I'm stoned or something. Basically. <laughs> so it's working. Yeah, it's, it's so that's basically it. So yeah. And the tallest is six four. Wow. So pretty. Oh, thank you. So sexy looking. Yeah. Okay. Stupid. So you'll be in the waiting room. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Love, Love you, Loden. I'll be back out. Okay. <laughs> we'll call you soon. I haven't yes, yes, Thank you. Yeah. And you're not, and you just have something to drink. I feel really good. Okay, good. Like, I feel like I could just walk up right now and get out of here. <laughs> no. Not yet. Maybe like another 30, 40 more minutes still here, and then you'll be out of here, okay? Get you out of that. Trata de dormir un ratito. Trata de dormir. In the car. So weird. Por qué? I felt like... I felt like I was like sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was dreaming about getting the surgery, and then I woke up, and then I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm already in a hospital, and then I, I didn't even, like, realize that I was already here. Mm -hmm. I just want to cough or something. <clears throat> I don't know. Did I throw up? So, I feel like I threw up right now. See? But I don't remember if I threw up. Okay, pues creo que sí, tranquilice, no te muevas, baja tus pies, todo. ¿Estás como ese? No te agarres, eh. I think before. For the. Like the stuff that they took out. Ah, sí. ¿Se la van a ver? No, they just said that they're in David. Does it? No te muevas, no te muevas. Acuérdate que te muevas. When I do that, can you see it? No, no se ve. You don't do it. You don't see it when I swallow anymore? Do I look more like a girl? Wow, so fast. Well, at least it felt like gay. What were you doing? No, it was just two hours and a half. They're like, this one's like the Himalayan mountain. We had to really cut it down. <laughs> wow, Jeepers Creepers. So weird. You know what it feels like? <laughs> it feels like when you're blackout drunk and then you like finally start coming back. Have you ever been blackout drunk? <laughs> Everyone's really nice, though. I need to thank that doctor for making me. I'm like, do I look pretty now? He's like, you were pretty before. <laughs> I'm so surprised that I'm like acting like this right now. I thought I would be like, I'm like, I'm ready. Let's do this. Well, now you know that if I get any other surgery, that I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. Why? Because I just never done that, and it just felt like it feels like a dream. It's so weird. So so weird. I felt really fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I thought my voice would have been a lot worse, but I feel like I sound the same. It looks really different. I like want to do this, but I can't. I mean, I wouldn't do it again. Oh, I just want to do this. I just want to feel that it's not there. Feel that it's like warm and red too. You might see some pus if it's if it gets infected too. Oh, okay. So it's with that antibiotic. The antibiotics. Yeah, you're gonna make sure you take the antibiotics until they're finished. But if you see any signs of infection, definitely yeah. call just a doctor call. Or, head, mm -hmm. or head to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. okay. When do I change? Um, as soon as anesthesia signs you out. Okay. So you gotta have something to drink for before then. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah. keep doing that. Like I feel like there's something in my throat, but yeah. Um, cold. Usually cold drinks will help with that. Okay. Popsicles. You want a popsicle? Do you some popsicle? I don't even feel hungry anymore. <laughs> uh, if you do feel nauseous today, just avoid anything too spicy, oily, greasy, or like salty. Okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Just eat bland foods like plain chicken, plain rice, yogurt. Mm -hmm. But if you feel up to it, you can eat it. Whatever you want. Okay. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm on my way home. The surgery took a total of two and a half hours, which initially they had told me it would take one hour, but it doesn't matter. It's over. I'm done. I look fucking cute. Seriously, look at this shit. Gone. Like, what? It was so cool, but I'm all done. I actually am super surprised that I don't feel any worse than I do. I found this little hair tie, so I threw my hair up but I'm A-OK, -okay. I love you all, and I made it out alive. I'm a strong bitch, and yes, I have my post-op appointment on the 21st, and I'm just gonna go home now and kick it and chill and relax so that this thing can heal. I'm a little sleepy, and my throat is a slight bit sore, but other than that, fucking fabulous it seriously feels like when you're about to get sick and your throat is just really sore I don't fucking know how to explain it, it feels like a sore throat um, probably just because of the tube that they put down my throat but everything went really good and I'm really happy and I wanted to cry a couple times because I was so happy but I'm not gonna cry because I'm a strong ass bitch I feel like I already look so much prettier oh my god like, I already look... 60, 60, 60, 60. Yes, Mom. And I just want to thank my mom for being here because she had to deal with all this shit. She's even pumping my gas because I can't do it right now. But she probably makes it look a lot better than I do. Initially, they had said that the surgery was going to be an hour, but it actually took a total of two and a half hours. And I seriously keep thinking about it and it makes me want to cry because I'm so happy that I just got this done. You guys, I'm so happy right now. I'm like crying. And I probably shouldn't cry because it's probably gonna make me overwork this fucking neck. But I'm just really happy because I feel a lot closer to being my true self. And also because I have my mom here. <laughs> I feel like a little bitch, but. I'm gonna blame it on the hormones, so. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I am so happy. I keep fucking crying. Like, I can't stop crying because I'm so happy. And I just really want to eat. So I remember them putting me under, and then I remember... I swear I was, like, dreaming that I was gonna get the surgery. And the next thing you know, they were waking me up. And I just remember faintly them calling my name. And then... I was in the room, a recovery room, and it was all over. It like seriously happened so fast, and I don't feel that much pain, and I don't really feel that much different. I just feel, like I said, like have a sore throat, and I just feel a lot of happiness. So because I have LA Care Kaiser, this procedure didn't cost me a dime. And I just want to let everyone know if you guys don't have insurance or need insurance to definitely, um, what's it called? Oh my god. Um, yeah, try to see if you guys qualify for LA Care Kaiser. Um, I went through my social worker and they were able to really help me out because they knew that I have yeah just go to your social worker they'll help you out um, but I didn't have to pay a thing and all my medications free and everything like that is free so I'm really thankful for that overwhelmed from all the love and support that I've been receiving since I've gone out of surgery it seriously has made this whole experience that much better and I keep going in and out of crying so thank god I'm not wearing makeup because it would probably be all over my fucking face but I just want to thank everybody for just being there and caring about me I love you all Who would have thought that they have some french fries?
guys at a Chinese food place, but I'll fucking take it. I'm so hungry. So we're leaving from the restaurant. We are, oh shit. <laughs> so we're leaving from the restaurant and we're heading back to Temecula. I'm gonna stop by my house really quick so I could pick up my baby. And then we are heading out to Temecula because I'm gonna stay at my parents' house for a couple days. Um, but other than that, that was pretty much it, you guys. Like, I fucking survived and I'm so happy and I feel fine and I feel great. So if anybody is gonna get the surgery, fucking do it. It's not as bad as you thought or as I thought. So me and my mom decided to just stay home today. Um, we're probably just gonna end up leaving tomorrow. We just want to make sure that I'm well rested and yeah, too much driving today. You, If you've been to LA or you live in LA, you just know how horrible that traffic is and we're not down to drive another hour and two hours. Two hours so look at her boob cleavage, so great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, today's finally thankfully over, and that was it, everybody. That's a fucking wrap. A fucking fajita chicken wrap. <laughs>